high FPS doesn't matter if your frame times are unstable. You can be pulling 200 FPS and still feel stutters, micro freezes, or uneven motion. That's because smooth gameplay isn't about average FPS, it's about consistent frame delivery. Today, we're fixing that. In this video, I'll show you how to stabilize frame times properly using MSI Utility V3 to control interrupt behavior, combined with Windows registry tweaks, power plan adjustments, and a few clean command line optimizations. These tweaks are safe, reversible, and work on both AMD and NVIDIA systems. By the end, your game should feel smoother, more consistent, and far more responsive, even if your FPS doesn't change. Step 1. Identify interrupt-based frame time spikes. Before changing anything, we need to understand what causes inconsistent frame times. Most micro-stutter issues come from devices sharing interrupts, GPU interrupts running in legacy mode, CPU cores being interrupted mid-frame, power state transitions during gameplay. You can confirm this by running latency mon, watching for high ISR or DPC execution times, seeing spikes tied to GPU, USB, or storage drivers. If your frame times spike randomly even when FPS is stable, interrupts are the problem, and MSI Utility V3 is the fix. Step 2. MSI Utility V3, the big fix. This is where most systems see the biggest improvement in frame time consistency and input responsiveness. MSI Utility V3, also called MSI Mode Utility, allows you to control how hardware devices send interrupts to the CPU. By default, many devices still use older interrupt methods that cause delays in queuing, especially under gaming load. Getting started. Download MSI Utility V3 from the trusted link provided. Right-click the file and run as administrator. Once opened, you'll see a full list of system devices along with their interrupt mode. Each device will show whether it's using line-based interrupts, older, slower, causing queuing, MSI, message signaled interrupts, modern, faster, direct signaling. Line-based interrupts are one of the biggest hidden causes of micro stutter. Enable MSI mode for key devices. Focus only on latency-sensitive hardware. Do not enable MSI for everything. Enable MSI mode for GPU, most important. NVMe slash SSD controller reduces asset streaming hiccups. USB controller, optional, but helps mouse and keyboard latency. For each device, check the MSI box. Leave unsupported devices untouched. If a device already has MSI enabled, leave it as is. Set interrupt priority correctly. This step controls who gets CPU attention first when interrupts fire. GPU, set to high, ensures frame delivery and render completion are prioritized. NVMe slash SSD, set to high or normal, prevents storage interrupts from stalling gameplay. USB controller, usually normal, keeps mouse input responsive without starving the GPU. This configuration allows the GPU to send interrupts directly to the CPU instead of waiting behind other devices. Apply and reboot. The reboot is mandatory. Changes do not fully activate until restart. What this actually fixes. After applying MSI mode correctly, you should notice significantly lower frame time variance, fewer random spikes in latency mon, smoother camera movement, more consistent mouse response, reduced 1% and 0.1% FPS drops. For many systems, this single step alone removes up to 80% of random micro stutter, even when FPS was already high. This is why MSI Utility V3 is considered one of the most powerful yet overlooked latency fixes on Windows. Step 3. Registry tweaks to prevent scheduling spikes. Now we lock down Windows scheduling behavior 
so your game always stays at the front of the line. These tweaks reduce CPU time slicing issues, background task interference, and sudden frame time spikes during gameplay. All changes below are safe when applied exactly as shown. Foreground Priority Optimization Open RegEdit and navigate to this path. Create or modify the following value. Win32 Priority Separation equals 26 decimal. What this does, biases windows toward foreground applications, uses shorter, more responsive time slices, reduces latency caused by background task preemption. This setting is ideal for games because it keeps the active game thread responsive instead of letting background services interrupt mid-frame. Disable background multimedia reservation. Next, navigate to path, set system responsiveness equals zero. By default, Windows reserves CPU time for background multimedia tasks like streaming, recording, or audio services. Setting this to zero stops Windows from holding CPU time in reserve, gives your game full scheduling priority, reduces sudden stutters during heavy scenes or combat. This is especially effective when combined with aim mode. Lock in high priority game scheduling. Now go to this path. Set or create the following values. Scheduling category equals high. GPU priority equals 8. Priority equals 6. These values tell Windows, treat games as high priority, latency sensitive workloads. Prioritize GPU frame delivery. Keep game threads ahead of background services and system tasks. This combination significantly reduces frame delivery jitter and improves consistency, especially during fast camera movement or input-heavy scenarios. These values reduce frame delivery jitter by keeping game threads ahead of background services. Restart after registry changes. Step 4. Power Plan Tweaks. Stop Clock Fluctuations. Frame time instability often comes from CPU frequency changes happening mid-frame. Even brief down clocks or boost transitions can introduce uneven frame delivery and subtle micro stutter during gameplay. This step ensures your CPU stays fully active and predictable while gaming. Enable the ultimate performance power plan. Open command prompt as administrator and run. This unlocks the ultimate performance power plan, which minimizes Windows power saving behavior and reduces performance state switching. Now activate it. Lock CPU performance levels. Run the following commands. This forces the CPU to maintain full performance while plugged in, preventing sudden down clocks that can interrupt frame rendering. Reduce boost-related oscillation. Next, run this. This limits aggressive boost behavior that causes frequent clock spikes and drops, improving frame time consistency. Prevent deep idle states. Finally, run this. This stops the CPU from entering deep idle states that can add latency when waking during gameplay. Apply all changes. Step 5. CMD tweaks to reduce timer and memory jitter. Open command prompt as administrator. Disable dynamic tick. Force consistent platform clock. These reduce timer jitter and scheduling variants that can cause micro stutters in some systems. Restart your PC. If you experience issues, you can revert After reboot, launch your game. Monitor frame time graph, not FPS. Look for flat, consistent lines instead of spikes. Frame time stability is the difference between high FPS that feels bad and slightly lower FPS that feels perfect. By combining MSI Utility V3, registry scheduling tweaks, power plan locking, and timer stability, 
you've removed the most common causes of micro stutter on Windows. If this helped, drop a like, comment your GPU and results, and subscribe for more deep performance tuning guides. Smooth frames win games. See you in the next one.